Hello everyone, this is Ming Zhong. Welcome to today's market analysis for the S&P 500 E-Minutes Futures that's for the session of 22nd of July. So in this video, I am going to show you the market recap on the last session plus a potential trade review in the entry time frame which I will include the entry, exit and the rationale behind. And that trade actually happened during the US session close to the end of that session and that could be uh, another kind of the entry that uh, I have been uh, researching for that's based on a pattern uh, failure. All right. So going forward, I will cover the bias key levels and also the potential setup for the session later. So let's just get started. Um, as we can see in this daily chart for the S&P 500 E-Minutes Futures, yesterday was definitely bullish because uh, we had a breakout session uh, happening the day before here uh, with the increasing of the volume and subsequently yesterday uh, we kind of see a bit of the continuation to the upside but um, definitely we see this kind of the rejection tail and followed by a little bit of the increment of the um, volume so expansion of the volume and tight spread so that suggests a uh, presence of the supply but if we look into the H1 time frame, we'll know that uh, the price action uh, wasn't really threatening uh, so far because you can see that uh, in this H1 time frame, uh, that's the opening session here. And we have just kind of like um, a bit higher than normal volume. Not that uh, significant, but uh, you can take a look at the price action. We have the demand tail here, this bar as well, this one, this one, and this one as well. So only this, um, the I think it is the 2 a.m. bar, followed by this uh, last hour closing bar here. We have a scene kind of like the sell-off happen uh, with the spike of the volume here. So definitely um, the only movement that we had uh, was uh, in the last hour session. So pretty much uh, during this US session was very tight range here to here. So that's a pretty much a tight range or narrow range day. And even in this uh, sell off bar here, we have seen this kind of the demand tail as well. So overall, um, the price action wasn't that bearish. Um, just before we dive into the entry time frame for a trade review. I would just like to quickly cover um, this rally up here. So this uh, rally up and followed by this uh, breakout uh, on around this area here uh, definitely was a kind of the bullish action. And we can see that just prior to the US opening, um, we have this kind of the uh, upward movement in the Asian session. And then during the uh, London session, European session, we have seen a little bit final push grinding up a bit here. And then finally, we have seen a uh, loss of the momentum to the upside followed by this kind of the reaction. So that's uh, how I see the price action uh, for the yesterday session. And let me just uh, get down to the entry time frame for a potential trade review. So you might already know that I uh, didn't uh, initiate any trade because uh, I mentioned that was a, a potential trade and by looking at the spread of uh, yesterday price action there was a definitely a uh, tight range so that's the opening session here for the US market and US session and that is pretty much uh, the range that we have seen here but um, if we zoom out a little bit here then you can see maybe we could have a trade uh, near the end of the session. Why? So firstly, uh, let me just uh, draw up some support resistance line so that you can have a clearer look here. So uh, definitely we have a run up here and then followed by a reaction. So this uh, support turn resistance or let's call it an access line is kind of um, quite an important or important area or levels to watch. So you can see quite a lot of the price interaction uh, within this area. So firstly, we have this here and definitely swing high, swing high. And then here as well, 
here as well here 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 and then rejection uh, actually maybe this is kind of like up trust action up trust so interaction interaction rejection so you see that um, that actually plays out quite nicely uh, apart from the tight range I think this is quite a level uh, to trade or lean against if you would like to initiate any kind of the trade so uh, one of the possible trade that uh, I actually uh, think about or think of a, is actually somewhere around here that's uh, near to the end of the session about 3 o'clock or 3.06 a.m. my time here why? firstly because you have noticed that we have this kind of the uh, reaction so that's the opening session kind of like uh, forming a trading range here and you can see uh, it's very volatile or well not not that very but um, if you compare it to this segment here it's definitely uh, more volatile than this segment here so it's kind of like mimic this kind of the um, rounding pattern or some might call it a a cup and handle so while it's forming the handle you can see that the handle just kind of like broken so instead of forming a proper handle and then see this kind of breakout pullback continuation then we see this kind of the failure so this is one kind of the uh, trade I have been uh, researching for because um, in terms of the um, pattern pattern traders I think a lot of them would like to really uh, see a breakout trade here because that really looks uh, nice and while forming this kind of the handle then I think quite a lot of them might just uh, jump in uh, without anticipate this kind of the failure so this kind of failure actually um, can become a uh, an entry uh, for the trade like enter the short entry here and in terms of the volume you can see that uh, we have seen the supply has been picking up here especially I think since this bar here and this one is actually the confirmation here let me zoom in a little bit here you can have a uh, closer look here so you can see that on this bar uh, this is the small little bar here it's kind of like uh, sorry not not this I think it's this one the, the bar just before that one so it's not actually uh, have any kind of the commitment to the downside the breakout it kind of like uh, break below and then retrace back a bit but we have seen that the volume has been uh, picking up here but uh, this bar definitely shows some kind of the confirmation of uh, broken handle here so definitely you see uh, we have increasing of the volume as well so definitely I think um, this is a quite could be could be a nice trade to write to the downside and in terms of the uh, structure or the white of structure um, I think there's a little bit here maybe this is the uh, immediate uh, resistance here then we have this kind of the kind of like the up trust and then failure inability to rally up test the resistance again and then eventually we fail here so we could look at it uh, in either way whether it's kind of like this kind of the uh, cup and handle with a broken handle failure breakdown or this kind of the uh, up trust type of the action and then with the inability to rally up here some kind of the rejection tail and then eventually followed by a confirmation by breaking down to the downside so I think this could be a nice trade to write it down here and depending on how you manage the trade then definitely you can profit with this down move at the end of the session but too bad is very late on my side so definitely no chance for me to take this kind of trade so anyway uh, this is a potential trade review uh, for yesterday's session let me get down to the H1 time frame to take a look at what's happening right now um, overall I talk about um, the price action for yesterday wasn't that threatening but um, definitely I think if we were to see a reaction down here uh, the first level of the support definitely uh, is the swing low here so you can see that I have already marked up in this uh, orange line here 
So this is one kind of the scenario to have a test. So this is the first line of the defense and subsequently definitely is the 3230 swing high level. So that's where the support or where the resistance now turn the support. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit here. So you can see that uh, this is definitely a swing high level. Uh, it has several touch here, definitely here, here, and here almost, this one as well. So this is a little bit, and then we have the breakout happen here. So definitely 3230 uh, is uh, important level to watch. And definitely I think uh, these two levels are very close to each other. Uh, for the yesterday day low here 3240 and 3230 so these two levels so if we were to see any kind of the reaction uh, to test the low levels so this could be uh, the area from 3230 to 3240 to pay attention to if we have seen kind of a um, bounce up or showing some support then definitely that could uh, have a long trade uh, here um, so in terms of the bias, I'm kind of like neutral because uh, we have a presence of the supply yesterday. Uh, let's see if we have a continuation to the downside uh, for a deeper reaction to test the support level um, before we resume the uh, rally up. And for the long term bias, definitely is still bullish. We are still on way uh, to test the next level at 3300. And if we can break 3300, definitely I think uh, we will uh, see the all time high at uh, 3400 here. So, definitely, this is the next level 3300, and followed by this 3400, which is the swing high level here. So, the potential trade that I have already uh, talked about with the possible uh, long trade when we see some kind of the reaction down to test the support level near uh, 3230 30, to 3240. So that is a possible trade like this. So the level we should pay attention to is 3230 to 3240. And for short trade, maybe uh, we still can rely on this swing high, previous swing high here at near uh, 3270 here. So if we have seen some kind of the rejection from here and that could uh, become a short trade. So either way we can uh, trade it to the upside or to the downside. It doesn't really matter. But um, I think the key here is to judge uh, the supply level, whether we have seen uh, some aggressive type of a supply to come out. Uh, otherwise, I think we will still keep uh, moving up uh, until we hit some significant resistance at 3300 level. Alright, so this is a relatively short video and it's end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it and get something out from the video. If you like the video, just click like and also forward to my name or picture to uh, follow me. Do remember to subscribe to my channel so that you get instant notification of my future video ideas. And as usual, if you have any kind of the comments, suggestion, trade ideas you would like to share with me or would like me to have a look, feel free to comment it below. I will definitely reply to you. Alright, thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.